This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, and verse 20. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. Shalom, Kohaloyam, Wahawa, Lot, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakahakwadash. Double honors, as always, are going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elders who rule well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Bayaf Dawada, the house of David the elect. I'm Shamar Moth, back with another video. And basically, this video, okay, first of all, you know, reading out of the book of Acts, the second chapter, in the 20th verse, is a direct quotation. Of the prophet Joel. You go to Joel's 2 and you read the exact same scripture. Okay, but this was where Peter was uh, prophesying, you know, on the day of Pentecost. Okay. Um, I had a dream last night. Either, either it was last night or it was the night before last. I can't remember. Um, and, and that's really not important anyway, but, and I don't know who was in front of me, but I was talking to someone. And we were both sitting down. We were at a table, and all I can tell you it was a man of the Lord. It had to be. It had to have been a man of the Lord in my dream. And he said, "You know what you need to do? You need to do a video on this scripture right here." And um, oh, well, you know what? It was two nights ago. It was two nights ago because I remember thinking yesterday um, that I'd forgotten about it. Because uh, I, I, usually, what I'll do is if I have something like that happen, our dream, a spiritual dream, uh, I'll make a note of it. You know, but I didn't this time. So, yeah, it was two days ago. Um, Today being Sunday, uh, January 8, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass as dubbed through the Spirit by the Elder Apostle Tahar. Okay. So, yeah, the man sitting across the table from me said I should do a video on Acts, the second chapter and the 20th verse, and concentrate on great and notable day of the Lord come. So anyways, and that's what's coming, you know, it's, it's, it's going to take two thirds of you Israelites, you know, by complete surprise. Okay. Cause the Lord's coming back as a thief in the night. Yeah. I was shy. All right. Whom the world England refers to as Jesus Christ. He's coming back like a thief in the night. So two thirds of you so-called, so-called, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans and Israelite foreigners are going to be shook, shocked, confounded. All right. Us as the hopeful elect, you know, we're watching for these things. We're watching, all right, for the prophecies and we can hear them speaking. Okay. Um, so anyway, I, I pulled up, um, I pulled this up in a blue letter. Okay. And, um, The Greek word for notable. Well, first of all, let's look at the, the Greek word for great. Okay, because focusing on great and notable day of the Lord. That's what it's going to be. A great and notable notable day. Okay. The day of Yahweh Shai's return with power and great glory in those chariots, man. All right. Which Yahweh Shai's chariot is going to be like at the size of a of a mountain. You can read that in Second Ezra the 13th chapter. All right. But anyway, let's look at this word for great. In the Greek. And it's important, you know, the apostles will tell you, you know, it's important to go into the original languages. You know, it's important to go into the Paleo Hebrew. It's important to go into the Koine Greek, okay, to get a better understanding of what was being said, okay. It's especially important to go into the uh, to the Hebrew, all right, because it, 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 the Hebrew carries more force, you know, uh, 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 than, than the English language. Right? The English language is a bastardized. English language is shit, all right? But anyway, Greek word 3173. Strong's G, 3173, Megas. Megas. All right, sounds kind of like mega, all right? Where we get the English word mega from. All right, but anyway, <clears throat> meaning... Um, <clears throat> meaning great, all right? Well, great. All right, um, <clears throat> uh, let's find the, the um, definition that fits. Uh, 
Okay, there's there's one right there. Definition three: splendid, prepared on a grand scale, stately. Well, right, and, and the Lord's coming is is going to be on a grand scale, you know, because the the, the heavens are going to be full up with chariots, man. You know, <laughs> so it is going to be a grand thing, you know, to see this. And then Lord willing, we, we live to see it. We endure to the end to see it, the Lord coming, coming with clouds, you know, the chariots. Um, A thing. OK, definition two. Um, B. It says things esteemed highly for their importance. This is a very important day, man, is day of the Lord, you know, because this is going to usher in, you know, the kingdom of heaven, man, the kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, it's, it's going to be the end of this kingdom, you know, like it says in, uh, what is it, Second Ezra 6 and 9, where it says, for Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob, which represents you Israelites, all right, the elect of you first and foremost, you're you're the beginning of it that followeth, man. So this 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 day is definitely something that uh uh is 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 a, is a thing to be uh, uh, esteemed, all right, and important of utmost importance. This is of of great moment, of great weight, importance, all right. Uh definition two C it says a thing to be highly esteemed, it's like you highly esteemed for its excellence. Excellent. This is going to be an excellent day, man. <laughs> we're looking forward to it, man, because we, we're vexing this society. Every day it's vexing. You know, just yesterday, um, I had a, a sister reach out on the comment board. And um, because I was at work, you know, I could only do so much, you know, but I, I tried to, you know, uh, she asked me for some scriptures. I sent her some off the fly. And, um, but you know, you want to be able to do this all the time, but you know, in this society, you have to do things to, you know, that you really don't want to do, like go to a, go to a fucking meaningless job, you know, just so you can support yourself when, when really, you know, you wish you could just be doing spiritual things all the time. Now, this place is vexing, you know? Um, anyway, that's just one thing that vexes us. I mean, you know, being around a bunch of perverts, a bunch of queers, a bunch of moes, a bunch of uh, transformers. I don't know. It's vexing here. This place is just disgusting. This is this is that sinful kingdom Amos wrote about through the spirit, which is getting ready to be destroyed off the face of the earth. All right. Um. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, definition three is good. Anyway, definitions two and definition uh, definition three. Okay, for mega Greek word thirty one seventy three. This this day is going to be a highly important day. Okay, how yeah, is coming back for his you know for his to get his man? Okay, gonna be snatching crowns. You know, no more uh, no more rulers. You know, he's gonna be the king of kings and lord of lords on that day. And King David's going to sit on his throne and lock Dawada under Yahweh Shai. All right. And then you're going to have 144,000 righteous judges, man. All right. Laying down the law on this earth. Okay. Let's go. Uh, let's go back and get the word from notable. All right. All right. That's Greek word 2016 for notable. So this day is going to be great, and it's going to be notable. Greek word 2016. Strong's G 2016. Epiphanes. 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 All right. Um, <laughs> memorable. Yeah, it's going to be memorable. This because it uh, memorable, you know, because this is what's going to be remembered in the kingdom, man. The destruction of America, Babylon the Great going to be the new Passover, okay? It's going to be talked about in the kingdom of heaven, how the Most High destroyed this wicked place, burnt it up, okay? How the missiles came, how the chariots came, you know, and, and fired, you know, uh, sent fire on this place, man, all right? It's going to smolder and burn forever. You know, the nations are going to see it, and nations are going to be like, you know, al you know, great demon-like power, you know? They're going to know 
about Yahweh Bashem Yahshua in this day. They're going to know Yahweh Bashem Yahshua did this. So memorable. All right, but then look at this. Also meaning uh, manifest and illustrious. Illustrious. That's a good word. This day is going to be an illustrious day. Let's let's look up. Let's do this. Illustrious. Illustrious. Illustrious definition. All right. Quick Google definition. Meaning well-known, respected, and admired for past achievements. Well-known, man. Okay. Again, it's going to be talked about in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. And, 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 and you know, <laughs> the two-thirds... The two thirds of you Israelites who are going to come back in the kingdom, you know, because it says all Israel is going to be saved. Eventually, all Israel is coming back, all right, and will be set up to be that special people, high above all the nations on the earth. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna look, you're gonna look up at the prophets, man. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna esteem the prophets in that day. You know, you know, obviously starts at the top, you know, but the men of the Lord are going to be in, held in reverence in the kingdom. Okay, so yeah, man, well known, respected. All right, those are the two definitions that fit and admired for past achievements. All right, illustrious. All right, let's see. So yeah, now what is going to bring about this day? Like, what's going to be going on when the Lord returns? World War Three, man. Okay, because Yahweh is coming back. You know, now prior to Yahweh coming back, and prior to those missiles being shot. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be all kinds of chaos. You know, the the, the implementation on a global scale of the MOTB, the C hip, the Karagma. You know, you're gonna have to go through a you know Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. Okay, but but then ultimately, you know, World War Three, Yahweh Shah is coming back during the midst of it. All right. So this is off of WarNews247.gr. All right, and this is uh. From today, as a matter of fact, January 8, 2023, again, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass, and that's what we're hoping for as prisoners of hope, you know. And, uh, you know, Salaki, I don't want, got a lot of scriptures. I mean, I'm going to read a couple more scriptures, Lord willing. I don't want to, this, this is more of a, a, a video, you know, based upon a dream that I had, though, and going into those two words, talking about the day of the Lord and what it's going to be like. All right, and how the prophets described it through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem All right, here's a here's an article. Second wave: masses of Russian forces enter uh, Kleshchivka and northern Solodar, control eighty percent of the city, over one thousand dead Ukrainians. Okay, this is not a headline you'll get on CNN. This is not a headline you'll get on Fox News. This is not a headline you'll get. On CBS, this is not a headline you'll get on MSNBC, all right, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those mainstream media outlets won't go into how Russia is dismantling uh, the Ukraine right now. Okay, they want you Babylonians over here, you sheeple, in full support of Ukraine, thinking Ukraine has a chance, and so they can continue to steal from you, because <laughs> Amalek, Amalek is a uh, 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 running Ukraine, okay? The chief tribe of Esau, Amalek, all right? Who the scriptures talks about the Lord having war from generation to generation with, okay? In Exodus. So there's one headline. Um, second headline from yesterday, okay? Uh, being Saturday, January 7, 2023. It said, rapid collapse of Ukrainian defenses. Uh, Pidhorodny and Krasnaya Gora, uh, Salakia for the pronunciation, these all these damn Russian names. It says fell in Bakhmut or Bakhmut. Ukrainian soldier says the situation is dramatic. Okay. Um. <laughs> Another headline, Ukrainians collapse and West runs. Europe-wide plan to deliver hundreds of Leopard 2s to Kyiv. U.S. sends M2 Bradley and Paladin M109A6. Now, the point is, this 
for all these headlines is, you know, Yahweh Shai said we would hear of what war and rumors of war. And that's what we're hearing. And there, there, there's intense fighting going on over in this part of the earth, man, over in Ukraine. While you idiots over here, you know, fill up with the bread and circus that Esau gives you, you know, and have your minds, you know, warped. And, uh, and you're out here dazed and confused and, and spiritually uh, drunken off all these different philosophies. And, you know, you've been spoon fed all this propaganda your whole life, you know. And, but meanwhile, here it is. World War III is breaking out and you have no damn clue, you know. You're just like it says in the scriptures, you're stumbling at the noonday, you know. You're not in the light. And you refuse to come into the light because your deeds are evil. You'd rather be evil out here, man. You'd rather be committing adultery. You know, you'd rather be, you know, celebrating all these pagan, you know, feast days, you know, eating all this abominable food. You don't want to be in the light, you know, because your deeds are, you, your, your deeds are wicked, man, you know. But yeah, this is, this is, you know, war and rumors of war, man. This, this is coming, you know, to, to America. You know, there's going to be fighting over here soon. There's going to be fighting for resources, you know, fighting for food, fighting for water. Great tribulation, man. Famine. And then the missiles are coming. And then this great and notable day, you know, will culminate with the return of Yahweh Shai. Now, if you go in here and you type in Day of the Lord, just type in Day of the Lord in Google, KJV, it pulls them up, you know. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14, the great day of the Lord Yahweh is near. It is near. And, and that's right. It is near, you know. Hey, this third world war, this third woe. It's coming quickly, man. It says, and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. It's going to be a lot of crying, man. A lot of weeping, gnashing of teeth, you know. That's what's coming, man. Great, the great and notable day of the Lord. But it pulls up a whole bunch of scriptures, you know. Here we go. Second Peter's chapter three and verse ten. And I mentioned this earlier in the video of, of how Yahweh I was gonna come back. He's coming back as a thief, man. It says, But the day of the Lord, second Peter's chapter three and verse ten, will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's right, that's the A. The heavens shall pass away, man. This rulership is going to pass away. This world is going to pass away. All right. America is going to be turned into a great big old lake of fire. All right. Now it goes into. Let's keep on reading. It says. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye be ought ye to be like it in all holy conversation and godliness. Right. We're supposed to. Our lives are supposed to you know, uh, be uh, uh, lives of holy conversation, man. We're supposed to be holding holy conversation, being separated from this world, you know, not looking like this world, not doing the things that this world does, you know, not esteeming the things that this world esteems. And the men of the Lord, we don't do that. You know, we are separate. Now we have to maneuver about in this world, you know, what which the scriptures talks about using this world and not abusing it. But at the end of the day, you know, we don't look like these people out here. All right. Spiritually speaking. OK. It says. Ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. <clears throat> it's like in verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's what we're looking for. OK. A new heaven, a new rulership, and a new earth, a refreshed earth. All right, not that the earth is going to be destroyed and a new earth is going to be formed. No, the Lord is going to freshen this place up because it's been destroyed. Okay, it's been it's been destroyed by the adversary. All right, yeah, the great and notable day of the Lord is coming. Um, slack <clears throat> you. Let's see. When in Zephaniah. Let 
Joel's Amos. All right, well, this is a good one, too, Amos, because, you know, you Christians are out here talking about Jesus coming back. Oh, Jesus coming, and they're looking forward to the return of Jesus. Well, you, you won't be, as soon as you see him, uh, or you're going to be weeping and mourning when you see him because you, he's going to look like a so-called black man, and he's going to be pissed the fuck off. Uh, so yeah, you, you Christians who are looking forward to this, the, the scripture says woe is coming on you for doing that, which woe at the end of the day means destruction, man. All right. Misery is going to come over you when the Lord comes back because he's not coming back to save Christians. He's coming back to save first and foremost his men. All right. The first fruits of salvation from the 12 tribes, the governing body, and then that remnant, which believes this testimony, man. So what the hell are you Christians talking about? I can't wait for Jesus to come back. Jesus ain't coming back, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back. King of kings, Lord of lords. He's coming back to stomp that faggot out, man. All right? Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord Yahweh. To what end is it for you? That's right, man. It says the day of the Lord Yahweh is darkness and not light. And it's not, it's not darkness coming on this place. Hey, physical darkness is coming on this place, man. Power outages, rolling blackouts is coming to Babylon. You think what's going on in Europe, you think that's not going to come across the Atlantic Ocean and land right here on you Americans? Yeah, man, the Lord's going to turn the lights out on you literally physically. All right. You people are going to be panic stricken out here. All right. Hey, so look, the, hey, again, this, this is a dream. This video is inspired by a dream and uh, going into the great and notable day of the Lord. And, um, you know, I could I could get some more scriptures, but I feel like the point has been made. And Lord willing, through the Spirit, you know, you were edified and comforted. With that, I want to say shalom.